Have you seen this woman? An intense search is underway tonight for a missing 25-year-old from Calumet County. It's our top story on Action 2 News at 5. This is Action 2 News at 5. Coverage you can count on. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The Calumet County Sheriff says the disappearance of Teresa Halbach remains a mystery tonight. The 25-year-old who lives near Hilbert was last seen Monday afternoon near Michicot in Manitowoc County. Jeff Alexander has the latest in the investigation. Police say Teresa Halbach's cell phone and credit cards have not been used since Monday. After meeting with family and friends this morning, they're convinced something is wrong. With the information that... Uh, we've obtained from friends and family. Uh, this is definitely a missing person case of uh, suspicious origin. Halbach is a professional photographer who works at Pierce Photography in Green Bay. One of her clients is Auto Trader, and police say she was in Manitowoc County Monday afternoon at three different private homes taking pictures of cars. The sheriff says he's not ruling out anyone as a suspect, but the three homeowners all report Halbach taking pictures of their cars collecting the money and driving off. Ironically, Halbach's last stop Monday was at Stephen Avery's home. He spent 18 years in prison for a sexual assault crime he did not commit. The sheriff says the Michicot area remains a focal point of the investigation. Uh, this is the last place she is seen alive and uh, seen by somebody. And of course, we're going to be uh, concerned, uh, interested in that area. Jeff Alexander, Action 2 News, Green Bay. Right now, police are conducting an aerial search of the land from Manitowoc to Green Bay. They're hoping to locate Teresa's car, which they say is a major key in their investigation. That car is a 1999 dark green Toyota RAV4, just like the one you see here. The license plate is SWH582. Dozens of friends and family are spread throughout the viewing area tonight distributing these flyers. They're missing persons posters with Teresa's picture and description on them. They're hoping someone in the six county area has seen her. Wow. Teresa Holbach lived with her childhood friend. Tonight, Isabel Kelly tells us a little bit more about who Teresa is in the eyes of those who know her best. I know her very well, and you know, it's, it's a very hard situation to, to get a grasp of. For Scott Blodarn and Teresa Halbach, each have entirely opposite schedules. So it wasn't uncommon for the roommates not to see much of each other, but it all changed when Teresa's father went looking for answers. Well, he stopped by the job site where I was working at, and he just asked me if I had seen Teresa in a couple days. And I, it was about right then when it kind of hit me, like, no, I hadn't seen her in a couple of days. And the last time her family or her roommate saw her was Sunday afternoon. I feel terrible for her family. I mean, they, it's got to be hell. Scott has been working with most of Teresa's close friends, trying to get a lead as to where she might be. Still, no word. We don't know anything right now, and that's, again, you hear that, it's like a cliche, the hardest part is the not knowing, but it's absolutely true. And everyone who knows Teresa is just holding on to a string of hope. Out of all the possibilities, you know, what is the ideal one? It's that she saw her. In the town of St. John, Isabel Kelly, Action 2 News. Teresa's mother says her daughter checked in with them almost daily. Tonight on Action 2 News at 6, Action 2 News reporter Isabel Kelly talks with the Halbach family about their worst fears and their dwindling hopes.